on Monday, Monday morning. So welcome to week seven of AP US history. This is the week plan for September 28th through October 2nd. All right, so to start off, I wanna remind you of the things that you need to be accomplishing today since we don't have class. Remember that when we don't have class, that doesn't mean you should not, not be working. You, you need to be getting stuff done. And so since we don't have class today, you need to find time, make sure that you have done the reading, pages 153 to 160, pages 163 to 172. You guys will be taking a, a reading quiz on uh, the creation of state governments and um, you know the Articles of Confederation up through the Road to Revolution. So be prepared for that. Um, <clears throat> remember that you have review charts. Uh, I've posted the French and Indian War a week ago. And then the new ones for this week are state governments and constitutional convention. Please let me know if you have any trouble accessing those. Uh, they should be available on Schoology. And uh, if you can't get to them, let me know. All right. And then I posted a video lecture for the creation of new governments. And so that was not only the state governments, but also the Articles of Confederation. And then uh, that was posted on Friday. And then you also um, should have... to. Uh, Sunday, I Sunday morning, I posted the Road to Constitution, and so the Constitutional Convention and the ratification of the Constitution. Uh, just you know, if you didn't watch those today, or you you know you need to try to watch them on Monday, uh, and if not, you need to make sure that you need to get those done by the time you get to class, because you will be pretty lost if we uh, if you come to class um, and you haven't watched these two lectures. So make sure that you watch them, please. All right, in class this week, we are gonna go over your unit one and two exam. Uh, we'll talk about the most missed questions and kind of the answers and things like that. Um, the lecture will be on the presidency of George Washington. Now, just to let you know, um, you know, we probably won't be able to cover the presidency of John Adams in class. And so what it looks like is that I'll cover Washington and you are going to have to read and or watch the video lecture on the John Adams presidency. And then you'll have a reading quiz on new governments. Okay, to preview if you, if you would like to get ahead. So when I post homework this week, it's gonna to be to read all of chapter six. So if you are done with your chapter five reading and you'd like to finish the reading for the unit, you need to read chapter six. Remember that you could probably do pretty well in this class if you just read really well. So if you uh, have not been doing very well so far, I would suggest that you start reading your textbook. And uh, the last chapter in the unit is unit six. So please read unit six, uh, chapter six for, for, the, for this unit. Okay, and then um, just to, to preview the week before fall break, we are going to be having a, our unit three or so-called period three unit exam. Um, you know, if you, if you want to get ahead, I would start studying your notes, your key term cards, any review charts that you've done. Um, if you're in cohort A through K, your test will be on Wednesday, uh, which is, should be the seventh. And then Friday, which should be the ninth for cohort L through Z. The chapters that you will be tested over will be chapters four, five, and six for period three. And if you do the key term cards, which I, I think would be a fantastic idea, uh, the key term cards for this unit are blue, they're period three. Okay, then there have been several review charts. Um, these are optional, but I really strongly encourage you to do them. It helps you to organize the ideas, French and Indian War, the Road to Revolution Graphic Organizer, new governments, and then to the two review charts that you will get after class this week will be the Washington administration and the Adams administration. Now, um, in terms of the other ones, um, either you will have these returned to you or you should have a copy of them, but make sure you have them to study. And if for some reason I have it to you, uh, have it from you, just let me know and I will get it to you so that you can use it to study. All right, and then after class this week, either uh, Wednesday or Friday, I will post the, the review guide just like I did for the last unit. And, uh, you know, it's optional, but encouraged. Might even give you a point or two extra credit for it. 
but uh, for the most part, it's just, you know, you should do it to review. Okay, so this kind of concludes, um, you know, what we will, what we're kind of doing up until fall break. Um, so if you have any questions, please let me know. All right, again, um, since we are not meeting today, make sure you are using this time to do something for, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes for APUS history today. Read, do review charts, um, you know, start studying for your test. Uh, you know, anything that you're, you're supposed to be getting done, watch a video lecture, but please use the time wisely and effectively. Email me with any questions and have a great day. We'll see you in class this week.